Hi, in my one of my recent videos, Back to Basics, I showed you how to download and install your cutting files from Scan and Cut Canvas and put them onto a USB thumb drive or flash drive. I just want to show you something now and um, I don't know whether you've come across this or not. But basically, I've got a USB stick plugged into my machine. Here it is, it's showing up on my desktop. And if you keep watching this video, I'm going to show you how to make your flash drive show up on your desktop, how to rename it, all that kind of stuff. But for now, I'm just going to double click on this flash drive. It's an empty flash drive. It doesn't look as though there's anything on it. So, <clears throat> you know, you may just have one at home and you want to put cutting files on it. And then you take it to your machine and you encounter problems. So I'm just going to show you what can happen. OK, so this is an empty flash drive. I'm going to I've got a folder here with a cutting file in it. And then I've just got a couple of separate cutting files. This is a shoe shape card from a recent video. So I'm going to drag this yeah. cutting file, Brother Scan and Cut cutting file for this shoe shape card onto this. USB stick. I'm going to close it and then I'm going to right click and eject it. And at the moment you could see that it's called no name. So now I'm going to take that out of the computer and I'm going to take it to the scan and cut machine. The USB sticks plugged into the machine, the one that you've just seen me drag a file onto from my desktop. So I'm going to come to pattern, save data, and choose the USB stick and it's saying to me that the USB media is not inserted insert USB media so that's that's telling me that it doesn't know that that USB stick is there now that could mean it's faulty or it could just mean that maybe that USB stick needs formatting so what I'm going to do I'm going to take it back to the computer and try and format it and then bring it back and see if the scan and cut can see it. OK, so I'm back at the computer. I've plugged the USB stick in. You can see it's here. It's called No Name. I'm just going to double click on it to show you that it's still there with the FCM cutting file in it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how to format a USB stick. Now, I use a Mac, but it will be a similar process on Windows, but if you don't know how to do it, just Google how to format USB flash drive or thumb drive for Windows and it'll come up and tell you how to navigate to it. But from memory, I think basically what you would do on Windows, you generally have a start button in the bottom left hand corner or your Windows icon. You normally, I think you want to select that, look for my computer or this PC select that and then you want to go into like your devices and look for your thumb drive that should show up but what i'm going to do to to do this i'm going to use disk utility now that you find through your applications folder if you don't know where your applications folder is you can hit the f4 key on your keyboard and that will bring up your applications folder and it could be in here somewhere and sometimes there are second pages so if you scroll you know from left to right I know where mine is I've put it in this folder called utilities so I'm going to select that and you can't see it on the screen here but it's here I'm just going to select it it looks like a hard disk with a stethoscope on it and it's going to open up the disk utility for me and you can see here under external I'm not touching my hard drive at all, not going anywhere near that, but under external, you can see here, it says ScanDisk Cruiser. That must be the type of USB that I've got plugged in, this one here, and you can see it's called No Name. So what you want to do, you want to, you want to select the main one, not the bit that says No Name, okay? And then you want to come over to Erase. Now, if you've got anything at all on this USB stick, at this point it will get rid of everything. 
So you may want to consider, you know, dragging anything off it onto your desktop or putting them in another folder somewhere to keep them separate. I've only got the one cutting file on there and I've got a copy of it here on my desktop, so I'm not bothered about that. Um, here you can rename it if you want to. So I'm just going to call this test USB stick just for now. And then under format here, I don't know whether this is the default for this particular one or not, or if this is the default that comes up on a Mac, but basically you should have a down arrow. And in the past, I've been told to format as FAT32, but there isn't an option for FAT32 here on this. And it may be to do with the size of this particular USB um, stick or thumb drive that I've got plugged in. So from what I can gather, you can choose either of these two, XFAT or MS-DOS-FAT. And the difference, I believe, is that MS-DOS-FAT can only handle files up to a certain size, which I have a feeling is around about 4 gig, but XFAT can handle files bigger. Now, if you're only using your USB stick to store your scan and cut cutting files, they're going to be a lot less than the 4 gig. So I'm going to try MS-DOS FAT as the format. I'm going to leave the scheme as it is here because I have no idea really what that means. And I'm going to click Erase. And I'm thinking about it actually now. I may not have needed to name it at this point, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to click Erase. and just wait and see what happens. So it's told me that the erase process is complete, click done to continue, so that's what I'm gonna do. So now it's disappeared off the desktop and it's erased it and it's just here with a T. So I'm just gonna click on that to select that and I'm going to right click and choose rename and you can see it's highlighted the T there so I'm just going to call it test USB stick and hit enter on the keyboard and then I'm going to close the disk utility down the USB stick is still in my machine and I'll show you it's just off to the side it's there so you can see it's called test USB when I double click it, there's nothing on it. So again, I'm going to drag that same shoe shape FCM file onto it, close it, and then I'm going to right click and eject it and go back to the scan and cut machine and see if it picks it up this time. Okay, so here's the USB stick. I'm plugging it into the machine and we'll see what happens. And this should tell us whether this is a faulty USB stick or whether just by formatting it, we can use it for the scan and cut. So I'm gonna choose pattern, save data and choose the USB stick and see what happens. And it's telling me that this USB media is not inserted. I'm going to double click to select it. It doesn't appear to be any files or anything on it. I've no idea whether this has been formatted or not, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag the same shoe shape file onto this USB stick now, close it down, right click and eject it. Okay, I'm back. So that was the first one, the faulty one, the Scandis one. And this is just another random USB stick that I've pulled out of the drawer. So I'm going to plug it into the machine. In fact, I'm going to go back to home first, just so you can see that I'm not doing anything, no trickery or anything. Plug the USB stick into the machine. I'm going to go to pattern, save data and choose this USB stick and see what happens. Now this time, this one has worked and there is the shoe shape card I dragged onto it. So I'm going to select it and you can see there it is with all the 
elements of that shoe shape card I made recently. So sometimes it might just be that even if you format your USB stick, your USB stick still doesn't want to, to show up in your scan and cut. And I don't know why. I don't know whether it's maybe because it's faulty or it just isn't compatible. And I know when scan and cut, when Brother brought the scan and cut out initially, they did issue a compatibility list. And that is on my blog under the Scan and Cut information um, page. So I just thought I'd show you that just to, to see hopefully if it may help you. Now I'm going to go back to the computer. I'm going to show you how to rename a USB stick and give you some other general bits of information. Right, I'm back at the computer. I'm just going to plug in this USB stick and then we'll carry on with the video. Okay, so there it is. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to double click on it to show you that that cutting file is still there. Now, I've renamed all my USB sticks. I keep a copy of all my cutting files on my computer. Just close this down. I keep a copy of all my scan and cut files on my computer, but I also keep copies of all the folders with all my cutting files in on USB sticks. And in the one of the recent videos, you'll see that I showed you how to download files onto a USB stick and you saw that it had a name. So for this now, I'm just going to rename this just for the process of this video to show you how you can do it. And there are a couple of ways to do it. So I can, on my Mac, on the words here, I can left click and hold and it should change to a pale blue and now I can just over type in there so I can type scan and cut test one and enter and that's given that that name I can also come down to finder and under devices I can find the USB stick and there it is and I can right click and then here I have the option to rename it and again it turns pale blue so I can I'll just change its name just to to show you and I'll just call it scan and cut and enter and you can see straight away it's changed on there and you'll have the same ability to do that whether you use Windows or a Mac now one other quick thing that I forgot to say right at the beginning of the video, when you plug your USB stick in, if yours doesn't show up like this on your desktop somewhere, what you need to do is just left click somewhere on a blank space on your desktop and you should have Finder appear in the top left hand corner. If you left click on Finder and come down to Preferences, you'll get this box and if you go to the general tab it's probably because you've not got one of these ticked here you can see here I've got a tick against external disks if I didn't have that ticked whenever I plugged in a flash drive like this or an external disk drive it wouldn't show up on the desktop so if yours isn't showing up that's just where to go you want to go to the finder not down here in your taskbar the one that's like two faces in pale blue you, you just need to make sure you're on a blank space on the desktop and you've got the word finder up in the top left hand corner people ask me um, that they've seen in videos that I've got folders and things on my USB stick and this is how I do them so basically this is the USB stick that we've just dragged that shoe shape card from our desktop onto it. Now again I'm on a Mac and when I drag a file from the desktop into a folder it creates a duplicate for me. So I've got it here and it's also here on the desktop. Now if I want to make folders like I do for all my cutting files, what I would do with the USB stick open like this, I would right click on a blank space inside this USB stick and then you should get this option that says new folder and when you select it it'll bring you a folder up and then from here this is highlighted again so you can just start typing so I'm just going to call this 
test shaped cards and hit enter. So now if I close this down and then open it up again just to show you I've got the cutting file on its own but I've also got a folder. If I left double click that opens the folder within the USB stick I can now drag that file into there and then if I hit the back arrow I've got the shoe shape card that I dragged in originally but on here if I double click I've got the shoe shape card so I can then go on just adding more and more and more files so again it's a right click new folder I'll call it number shape cards and that's all I do and then I drag my cutting files in to these folders so that when I then go and put this USB stick into the scan and cut machine what I see are all my folders with all my names and in this particular instance I'll see two folders and just a random cutting file but I put usually put everything into folders I'll, I have folders for things like pen tool, I have folders for vinyl, I have folders for sewing projects. I just make a stack of folders and then I drag all the cutting files into those folders and I have exactly the same folders actually on my desktop, so sorry, on my computer. So if I go to my computer and go to my documents and then go to my scan and cut file, you'll see that in here I have all these folders all with different names and I have ex whatever folder name I have here on my computer I have on my USB sticks and then that way when I download a file and I drag it onto a USB stick the one that's left behind I drag into the same folder on the computer and that's how I keep copies of all my files and folders on a USB stick. So I hope you found that helpful. As I said, there are some USB sticks that just aren't compatible with the scan and cut machine. This particular USB stick that's now got the cutting files on is exactly the same capacity as the USB stick that I showed you first. They both, I think, are 103 gigabyte. So if you know if you look at them on the face of it, they're both the same size, they should both work, but you could clearly see from this video that one didn't and one did. It may just be that I have a faulty USB stick, it may be it just isn't compatible with the Brother Scan and Cut machine. So when you get your USB stick, and you're trying it initially if it doesn't work try formatting it like I've shown you in this video if that doesn't work and when you format try formatting to FAT32 if you have the option or MS-DOS FAT or XFAT um, and if that doesn't work then it probably just purely and simply is it's either a faulty USB stick or that your particular stick isn't compatible with your brother scan and cut machine don't get disheartened just try another usb stick don't bother formatting it or anything at first just drag i would just drag one file on or one folder initially because if it's not going to work it doesn't matter how many files are on there really so you know maybe just drag one cutting file onto it eject it take it to the machine if it shows up in the machine then it's going to work and then you can plug it back in and start transferring all your cutting files over onto it. I know it was a little bit bitty this video going backwards and forwards but I just wanted to show you the process that you may encounter. So I hope you found it helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you get notified of any videos that I post. Make sure the notifications is turned on which is the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.